in lesson four, the engage is just asking your students, what have we learned so far about building a circuit that enables a light bulb to light? And you come up with responses such as closed circuit. It has to be a closed loop um, so that so that the negative terminal of the battery um, can travel through the wire and the bulb and then back to the positive terminal of the battery. Um, for the explain, you are going to discuss variables and how when you're testing variables, you just test one idea at a time and how they relate to troubleshooting. And that is by controlling all others, um, you can use the process of elimination knowing that the one made a difference. So if you're testing um, your circuits and some of them aren't working and you can just test one at a time so that your students can hopefully conclude that maybe it was a faulty battery, maybe it was a faulty um, light bulb, which is what we had up here when I was trying to create the circuit. The assessment is this Worksheet, um, give me some light on page 129. It is a summative assessment, and students should know what causes static electricity and how to build a working circuit. Um, we also revisit the idea of STEM in the um, enrich, accelerate, and reteach portion of the lesson. And, um, Students will design a game involving science, technology, engineering, and math, and they can make a quiz game for any other class um, by designing and engineering a device. So that can also be used for a long-term assessment, um, something that they can do if, you know, early finishers, independent um, sector.